There's nothing worse than having trousers that are badly creased. Even if your jacket is pristine, uh, having scruffy trousers is going to make you look completely dishevelled. It's really easy and simple to press your trousers. A lot of people are scared of it because they think that they're going to put some shine in. But the thing to remember is that we iron shirts, but we press trousers. And it's that pressing motion that's the important part. Uh, to avoid the shine. If you got caught in the rain, for instance, and your trousers have completely lost their uh, crease, uh, we'll need to find out where to put that crease back in. So first thing to do is to lay your trousers on a good sized ironing board and you'll need a good uh, steam iron, just as we did with shirts, with, with quite a, a punch of steam. And the first thing to do is to find the centre crease in the front. And to do that, we need to match up the seams, the inseams, lay them on top of each other, and that gives you the position for the crease. Just mark that in at the bottom, and then we'll go to the top. We need to get inside the trouser and find the seams at the top. Just match those up. and mark that in as well. Now, if you've got a flat front trouser, you need to stop the crease about six inches, that's about 18 centimetres from the waistband. But if you've got a pleated trouser, um, you'll find that you can run the, pleat, the crease right into the pleat. And if you've got two pleats on the trouser, it will always be the first pleat. But these are flat fronted trousers, so we're gonna stop the crease about six inches before the waistband. So we've marked the top and the bottom, then laying the trouser flat, we'll press in that crease. And remember to press and not iron. And when we get to the top, it's a good idea just to pull the pocket bag back Otherwise, you're going to get impressions of the pocket bag when you press on top of it. And we always set the front crease first. As when, once that's in position, then we can lay the trouser flat and press in the back crease. And then once you've done the front and the back crease, you can just gently go over the centre of the trouser to get out any unwanted creases. Now, if you are worried about shine, um, what you can do is to use um, a press cloth. I'm using a tea towel here. It's made of linen, and ideally you want an old one because you want something that's lint-free because you don't want bits of fluff all over your midnight navy suit. So. If you're worried about the shine, just place it in, uh, 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 on the trouser and press over it. You can damp it down with a bit of spray of water to assist. Modern tailors will have uh, a vacuum table that will suck out the moisture uh, and the heat which actually sets in the crease. But 100 years ago they didn't have that. So they used a different method of uh, getting out the steam and the heat and drying off the cloth. And they used um, what they called a banger. Uh, and I've got a, something that I've improvised here with, um, an old, uh, well, actually a new um, floor scrubbing brush. Uh, but it's perfect uh, because it's made of wood, it's unvarnished. And um, this is the sort of thing that they would use back in the old days to get a really nice firm crease. And what we do, <coughs> give it a bit of steam, and then to get, get the sharp crease, we'll bang it in, hold it down, and that knocks out the steam and gives you a really sharp crease. So once you've done both sides, you need to hang it up for a few hours to let the um, moisture dry out of the trousers, uh, and then they're ready to wear.